Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own SATA SSD using one or two SD cards. This is a Z2 SATA adapter which costs 7 bucks with free shipping, the link in description below. And there's also dual SD card adapter with built-in RAID 0, which combines two SD cards into one drive with doubled capacity. I'm skeptical about practical use of this device, but anyway, let's test it out. This is the fastest SD card which I have in my possession, it's Kingston 64 gigs, and here's reading and writing speed. It's faster than many cards on the market, at the same time there are some SD cards that deliver extremely fast speeds over 200 MB per second, which is faster than hard disk drives. Anyway, this adapter doesn't support that speed due to its own hardware limitations. Ok, the BIOS has recognized this drive, so we're good to go. Now I'm going to install Windows 10 and I already have freshly installed Windows 10 on this real SSD and the new hard drive, so we can also compare the difference in performance between these drives. So this is Toshiba SSD running on Windows 10 and as you can see everything works fast and smooth. Word starts almost instantly and here's benchmark results. Next 1TB Seagate hard drive. As you can see, system is not that responsive anymore, but anyway it's a brand new hard drive so Windows 10 performs really well, even despite the benchmark results are about twice as low. And finally, SD to SATA adapter. Well, it was the longest Windows 10 installation of my life, it took almost 3 hours. The performance is actually way better than I expected, basically it's like an old computer running Windows 10. Everything starts slow, but works without any problems. Office 2016 starts pretty fast. I've done several benchmarks using Crystal Disk Mark, and as you can see, the performance difference is so significant. But it's still enough for a simple daily workload, like office or internet browsing. Nevertheless, I've installed Camtasia 9, which is currently recording this screen, so overall not bad. I want to show you the speed of this SD card using my laptop's card reader. As you can see, it's not bad, but much lower than manufacturer claims. And the same experiment with this adapter, but now just as an external USB drive. So, this adapter is pretty much fast, and performance depends on the speed of your SD card. I'm not sure about real practical use of this adapter, maybe, just maybe if you have a spare SD card and an old laptop or netbook with a dead hard drive, then you can fix it for 7 bucks. And to squeeze the most possible performance out of your SD card, I'd recommend to install Windows 7 Starter or Home Basic. It's also a good solution if you want to fix and sell that laptop. 